Uh, today we're going to be talking about bamboo cutting boards. Uh, I recently made a large one for my mom for Mother's Day and also made a small one for a friend uh, for their birthday. And so I wanted to show you um, the various sizes that I've been working with. So this is the really large one that I made for my mom. Um, she has the one that was engraved now and I didn't re-engrave this one. Uh, this is a nice medium sized one with a good handle. Um, and then there's the smaller petite ones, which I think are perfect, perfect for cutting up like citrus fruit, fruit and everything. So I went with the cocktail theme. Um, and also it came with a cocktail book that I helped make um, and I will make a design or make a video on that at some point as well because um, I think that was super fun. So some details. Um, I get these from Johnson Plastics Plus. Um, I found their service and materials to be great and they're also very economical. Um, so this small little guy, uh, he's eight by six and he was around $2.10 a piece. Uh, the middle guy, this one is going to be 12 by 9 and they were around $4.20 a piece. And then um, the large one was around $7.81 a piece. Now the shipping is expensive. I for, I mean, they have like a flat rate, so it's not super expensive, but like if you're going to buy like $10 worth of cutting boards, sometimes it's worth to go get the free shipping at like I think $1.49, um, get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and they sell acrylic and all, over, all other sorts of laser, laser supplies as well. Struggling with talking today. Um, anyway, um, they, I've had no problems uh, engraving them. I know I've read a lot of, online about people saying that they're very inconsistent bamboo uh, boards and such. I've lucked out with these ones, so I highly recommend um, the Johnson Plastic ones. Not an affiliate or anything, but they worked for me really well. So, um, settings that I use. So, first of all, these are about... Uh, 0.45 inches so they fit nicely in the glow forge without having to remove the bottom tray and do all, do math um, and then the settings I used were um, 750 speed um, and then full power my design I did in uh, Photoshop and um, just fonts and um, little graphics here even though they look like vectors, that, that actually is a, just an image that I used. Um, and so I did convert to that in 225 lines per inch. Um, I did try a bunch of other settings, and this was the only one that came out this dark, and I thought that just looked really nice. Uh, I cleaned it up with, um, uh, I forgot what that stuff is called, Fat, um, here it is, a uh, Fast Orange Wipes. I uh, read a recommendation online about how to remove a little bit of the charring, so I did that. And I have a picture of that as well. Um, and then I just seal it with the food grade mineral oil to keep it um, so that the, the wood doesn't completely dry out. So anyway, I'll show you a quick video of that etching um, engraving into the bamboo board, and I will put my supply list at the end. Um, I hope you have as, as much success with these as I did. and. Um, yeah. Happy lasering. Have a great day. Here's my design placed on the bamboo cutting board. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to unknown and use uncertified material. And I measured with my calipers that it was 0.45 inches deep which is going to adjust my design slightly there and it should be about perfect. So I may move it up just a bit there. Oh, and that looks good. So let's go ahead and click print over here. Um, and then I used seven, this, look at my settings. I used a speed of 750 with full power. I did convert to dots for my design. Um, it is a raster design, meaning that I can't um, do like score lines um, or engrave at a higher quality. So uh, I'm just doing it as if it was a, were a picture. And then I'm doing uh, 225 and there it says auto, even though I just changed it. So I'm gonna change that because I prefer to have it exact 0.45, which if the laser does a good job, it should measure it, but 
I'm just gonna play it safe there. Um, so once again, those are my settings and it will take 42 minutes and 21 seconds.